Good afternoon to you. I'm Rob Johnson along with Taylor Eaton. We do begin midday with a breaking news alert. Yeah, the head of the West Virginia State Police has just resigned and it comes days after we questioned him about accusations of wrongdoing in his department. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson is following this and is joining us live now, Curtis, with new information. Hey, good afternoon, Taylor. We're just right outside of the governor's office here at the Capitol, where just within the last hour, we received word that Governor Justice has accepted the resignation of his state police superintendent. The governor saying Colonel Jan Cahill offered his resignation at 9.30 this morning. The governor saying he plans to address the resignation and announce an interim replacement at 1 o'clock this afternoon. The governor also planning to announce additional actions that will be taken going forward. And of course, all of this taking place just weeks after two anonymous letters detailing serious allegations of wrongdoing against high-ranking members of the Western United State Police. The second of those two letters alleging that a senior trooper stole money from a man at a casino and then was allowed to retire. The first letter set forth allegations of a ghost account used for purchases, falsified overtime, and a hidden camera system in the women's locker room at the State Police Training Academy. Colonel K Cahill, I interviewed Colonel Cahill just a few days ago, like you said, and he was telling me that he was underwhelmed by that first letter. He also told me that he lacked confidence in the resulting investigation. And this is nothing against the governor, but, but the Homeland Security investigation, I have a zero vote of confidence in that investigation or, or, uh, um, or uh, Secretary Sandy for that matter. I think there's just an agenda that's, that's been uh, going on against the state police. I reached out to Colonel Cahill this morning for his side, including what led his resignation. We haven't got a response as of yet, but we'll uh, keep watch here at the Capitol for any updates and uh, get that information back to you guys as we go forward. Sounds good, Curtis. Thank you. And uh, a briefing on this is expected to happen at 1 o'clock this afternoon where we will hear from Governor Jim Justice about this. Curtis will be in that briefing for the latest on it, too.